This is important for you to know. I'm Sandy, I'm 24 years old. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Quito. And why are you in Cuenca? I like Cuenca. What are your feelings about safety in Quito? Um, Quito is dangerous, see? Some places in Quito is dangerous, but if you walk at night in Quito, probably you can be Raptor. Do you know anyone that was a victim of crime? See, si. all my friends and me, my family. You? See, si, me, five times. Five times? See, si, five times. Was all robbery? See. Si. Yeah. What are your feelings here in Cuenca? I read about Cuenca is safety. Mm -hmm. I read about Cuenca is safe. Well, that all changed recently, didn't it? See. Tell, uh, tell me what happened. Uh, Friday, I was walking in Avenida Don Bosco y Loja, and two men came and they robbed. Attacked. Attacked me. I was afraid because one of them had a paper and I thought the, the paper had drug. And what drug would that be? What, what drug would they have? I thought escopolamina. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's common. It's common, uh -huh. yeah. So, continue, what happened? And I was walking and one man here and another here. And that one take my purse and take took my cell phone and another one had the paper and he like he hugged me but for people think they we are friends. Mm -hmm. Their strategy. Their strategy. A strategy. Uh -huh. And there was um, a boy near maybe five meters. And I told him, but he was afraid too, and he ran to his house. How did you get away? Uh, uh, when the man, when man take my took my cell phone, I ran to the house because I was afraid. And I, I was panic. So now you have no cell phone. No, I don't have cell phone. When do you think you'll get another cell phone? Mm, I don't know. Maybe for my birthday. And when is your birthday? On April. April. See. So no cell phone no until cell April. <laughs> it's expensive, right? See here, it's expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel now in Cuenca? Mm, I like Cuenca. I feel good, but now I have to be careful and. See, see every place, places. Mm -hmm. So before this happened, when you were in Cuenca, you didn't worry about anything. You were just felt free. See, I woke two months ago at night. And nothing happened. Anything happened. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you came from Quito, where you were always worried because so many things happened. Sí. And you came here because of the reputation, it's so safe. Sí. And your experience, you've been here since last year? Sí. Yeah. Came where? Yeah. So sí. you came to Cuenca last year? Sí. For vacation. Yeah. I came for vacation. And you stayed. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. So you have felt safe and you haven't worried about it, and, uh -huh. and now this happened, sí. and now you have to be concerned. Sí. Sí. Uh, in my house in Quito, I have to walk two blocks to take a bus, and I don't like to walk two blocks because it's dangerous. This, that way, 
near to my house in Quito, it's dangerous. But here in Cuenca, I have to walk four blocks to take a bus, and I thought it safe to walk, but now I have to be careful. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry it happened to you, but I think it's important that people know that there's crime everywhere and you always have to be careful. Mm -hmm. See, you, you have to see uh, back, uh, left, right, yeah. uh, because uh, it's a new, a new strategy. Uh, yeah. They apparently look like friends yeah. uh, and people no. don't know what happened. Now, I remember I asked you this after it happened, but I asked you if they sounded like they were from Cuenca or from the coast, and what did you hear? Their voice. Uh, mm, they sound like Quiteños yeah. from Quito. Mm -hmm. See, and they look like Quiteños. Now, everybody like if they're from Colombia or Venezuela or from the coast or from Cuenca uh, or Quito, they all sound different and unique, sí. right? Okay. So these were people that came from out of town. Mm -hmm. sí. Okay. Came out of town. Well, thank you. And maybe uh, you can ask Santa Claus for, <laughs> for Christmas <laughs> for his little boy. Sí. Please. Please, Santa. You. <laughs> you know you're cool.